Hi, it's Chris here with the Cube i7 stylus here. Just having a look briefly at Windows here. It's going to show you only just one benchmark here in this test. Well, I'm going to show you other benchmarks of dried speeds. But here we have Geekbench 3. And this is the uh, score that I managed to get out of the tablet, which is um, not a bad score at all. It's uh, definitely faster than the Peepo W8 that I tested a couple of weeks ago. And the score is pretty much on par around that of what I was getting out of the the Cube i7. So not a bad score there. I'll just show you too that the um, benchmarks that I've run now on the USB 3 drive here, this is an, not a bad score at all, but this drive here is actually, what it is, is an enclosure that's running an M2 full SSD drive on there, running through the USB 3 port. Now I can confirm that it will run your 2.5 inch hard drives without any issues. So here's one right here, this is my Toshiba Basics one terabyte drive, ran that, it compiles it, and, and there's no problems whatsoever. Like the first Cube model had issues with speed, it would only cap at USB 2 speeds, so 40 megabytes per second, and that wasn't very good at all. But here you can see it's going really fast. So I'm just going to do a little test here of the USB drive. So I have cooked up right here, this is a SanDisk Extreme USB 3 drive, 64 gigabytes. And I'm just going to move a large file, which is 1.6 gigabytes, over to the drive and see how long that takes it to do that. So if I load that up, oops, that's not the one I want. It's this one here, removable drive. Okay, so it looks like I already actually have that file on my drive because I just moved it off. So what I can do, and what I'll do now is just move it from here to here. I'm just going to delete this. Okay, delete and move it and see how fast that runs. So you can see it running there about uh, 180, well, 170 now megabytes per second. So that's quite quick there, it's definitely full USB 3 speeds. And now I'm going to copy it back and see how fast that is as well. I just want to delete this, hang on. I'd be faster actually if I push the button, I'm just not too used to using styluses. So okay, that file's now gone, so I'm going to copy that back and it's writing it again around the same kind of speed so that's not bad at all and it's just double check that's going to run it yeah not a problem so that that worked fine and what I also do is just plug in that super fast drive here that you can see here and copy that over and see what kind of speeds we can get as well so I've just plugged in that, it's actually a SanDisk X1110, sorry, X110 SSD, it's right in here, it's 128 gigabytes, it's actually from a Dell Venue 11 Pro that I had, and I've used it in this little enclosure here to, um, to use as an external fast SSD drive. So I'm just going to copy over now that same file again and see how fast it writes this time, because this drive is very fast. A full proper SSD, so we can see about 300 megabytes per second. It's dropped down to about yeah, about 300. So very quick, definitely fine. USB 3 speeds there, very good. So no issues there. I've had a couple of requests to test out the screen with the stylus in regards to the edges of the screen, like how sensitive it is. I'm just using my finger along here on the clock. I'm not having any problems, and the stylus does seem to register right on the corner there. And see if I can, you, know, you can drag along the bar right from the corner there. It's not too much of a problem. So I'm just going to run a couple of programs here. No, I don't have Photoshop uh, CC, which is the, the Photoshop Cloud version. I'm, I'm not an artist or anything like that, so I don't kind of use those programs. So just bear with me on that. What I've done is just tested out a couple of times here the pen, just using OneNote here. So if you reverse the pen around, you can erase the uh, text like so, it takes a while here in this mode but I was just testing with the pen to see how quick it is and how accurate it is on the screen so it, it seems pretty quick there and it doesn't seem to have much lag, at least using this paint program here sorry this isn't one note, sorry I've loaded the, the fresh paint apologies, uh, getting myself confused there so if I just paint with that a little bit and you can see that it seems to, it runs well for me. 
Now there is palm rejection. As soon as it detects the pen here, my finger, if I touch it, will do nothing, which is which is great. So I'll exit out of this and go into OneNote, which does have apparently does work with the pressure sensitivity. So if I find OneNote again, and uh, where is it? I find that because I clicked the wrong thing. Let me go OneNote. Load this up. Uh, this is a recent note here. So I'm just going to do a little writing test here. Okay, so hello. It, this thing's fast and very easy to write on. And if I do point the use the stylus right on the corner of the screen here, let's see if it will let me. Okay, well, it's going to bring up the menu there, but okay, I didn't manage to make a small dot there right on the edge. Seems to kind of work. Well, it works fine there. Try the other edge. Okay, it, it wants to scroll if I touch too far. So right on the edges, it um, lets me draw a line just along the edge here. Don't seem to have too much of a problem there. Now I'll reverse it around. Can I erase things? Yeah, that's pretty quick. Not bad there at all. So not not bad, not bad. Now, um, I haven't had much experience, I'll admit, with styluses because I don't really use them. I have the Surface 3 and that's a different kind of technology. That's the end trick. And to be honest, I've only just used it to sign a couple of papers. But uh, we'll just try again and just do a couple more things to test the speed of it. So that seems very quick to me. Of course, this is only basic stuff. So using Paint Shop, it's going to be uh, a lot harder for you to... Um, well, what am I saying? It's going to be... A lot slower probably when if you're manipulating images and moving things around because it's more intensive. So just, just doing this quick little test here, you can see that, I mean, it seems pretty quick there for writing and and fast enough for me. I don't know really what people want to see tested with the stylus. Uh, the pressure, of course, that's what you want to know, isn't it? Does it work? So if I try very light there, then push down harder, it does seem to be registering there. So thin line, thicker, thicker, pressure sensitivity. seems to work and the nib accuracy where the point is seems to be yeah where the pen is hopefully you can see that okay on the screen seems fast there okay so that's a look at the stylus there now I'll just quickly go and finally have a look at internet explorer and just load up a website someone wants to see how fast it scrolls from the forums of my site, so it will look now. I'll load that up. And there's a lot of images normally on my reviews of the tablet, so just load up my latest review, which is the i7 Remix, and have a look and see how that scrolls with the pen with my finger as well. So moving along, it's a relatively heavy site. Because you can see there's a lot of images here that I've uploaded, photos of the tablet and the review and everything. And there are also YouTube and videos, videos embedded in there. Now, Internet Explorer doesn't have a problem with this, normally because it is very smooth, fast browser for me personally. I do like it. It's one of my favorites. I do use Chrome more because it syncs, but Chrome tends to be a little bit more laggy. So that seems pretty fast there. And what have I done? Open one of the images. So if I go back, Chrome's opened, okay. Just do some scrolling in Chrome. Okay, I can't scroll like that with the pen, okay. Seems fast enough. Seems good. I, I don't see any stutters or lags. Start on lags and windows. Uh, if you want to see a multitasking test, I can also upload that and try that out as well. There we go. Now these speakers.
So, yeah, seems fast enough there. Oh, there was a little bit of stutter there, but the, this is Chrome. Chrome can do that. It stuttered a little just then on the embedded YouTube video there on the thread, this forum thread. Okay, so if you're after more benchmarks and gaming videos, they'll be coming very shortly. I will be uploading those. And, uh, yeah, there's really not much more I'm going to cover in this video. So thank you for watching, and I'll hopefully see you in those other videos I'll be uploading shortly if you're interested in this tablet. Bye for now.